French Defense, Advance, Paulson, Yawi Variation, 6.B2NGE7. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. White's end game precision was a cut above Black. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. While preparing for d5, the French defense prevents the light squared bishop in favor of a strong center and opportunities for counterattacks. The center is fully controlled by d4 and the dark squared bishop is made available. The e4 pawn is threatened by the center counterattack on d5. e5 closes the center and attacks the important d6 and f6 squares. The d4 pawn is struck by c5, kicking off center play. The d4 pawn is supported by c3, which also enables the queen to grow on the queen side. And c6 adds more pressure to the d4 and e5 pawns. Nf3 supports the d4 and e5 pawns. Bd7 develops the light squared bishop and opens up the c8 square. B2 develops the bishop and prepares castling. Ng7 develops the knight toward the center and supports the knight on c6, but blocks the dark squared bishop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is the last book move. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Recaptures. That's good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is a mistake. That falls flat. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. It is quite good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The pawn is now adequately defended. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This misses a chance to build a queen beyond of its initial square. It is incorrect. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. That falls flat. There was only one good move there. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a bishop. It is a miss. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to retreat away. It is ideal. This defends the attacked bishop. This threatens to win material. It is best. 
This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to raise the possibility of winning a bishop. It is incorrect. A wise decision. It is quite good. It's all right. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. This loses a pawn. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This ignores an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. It is a mistake. This is a missed chance to claim a free pawn. That falls flat. This would be a missed chance to move a piece to safety. It is incorrect. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This threatens to win material. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is excellent. This threatens to play checkmate. This prevents the opponent from being able to win material. It is good. This prevents the adversary from playing checkmate. It is ideal. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This overlooks a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only good move. This threatens to win material. It is a great move. Material is lost as a result of this. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. This results in a pawn being lost. This enables the adversary to exchange blows. It is incorrect. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to reveal a check. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a mistake. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This is the only good move. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is a great move. This fails to take use of the chance to move a rook to safety. As a result, the adversary can take an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This is the only move that works. It is best. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. It is ideal. This evades the check from the queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A powerful play. It is quite good. This steps away from the checking queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is ideal. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. Though not the best move technically, it was interesting. It is quite good. That was a great move and very hard to find. This threatens to play checkmate. It is brilliant. 
intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. White's end game precision was a cut above Black.